Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss a few multiple choice questions on anti epileptic drugs. Question number one Which of the following types of seizures is common in childhood during the age 4 to 14, characterized by brief, abrupt loss of consciousness for about 5 to 10 seconds? stopping all activity, staring off into space, eye blinking, impaired school performance and social interactions. Okay. Choice A, absence seizure, petit mal seizure, B, status epilepticus, C, myoclonic seizures, D, tonic clonic seizures, E, partial complex seizure. What is the answer? Answer is A, that is the absence seizure. Impaired school performance because the student cannot hear the teacher's directions and also there is lack of social interaction. Some people may think it is mental retardation, but it is the absence seizure. Question number two, all of the following are the preferred or alternate drugs for absence or petit mal seizure with one exception. Exception is what? Valproic acid, ethosuximide, phenytoin, clonazepam. Answer should be phenytoin. Phenytoin may cause the condition worse. It is not helpful anyway for absence seizure. It will make the situation worse. So this is not, and that is the answer. That is the exception. Question number three: A 25-year-old woman had a series of life-threatening seizures for more than 30 minutes without seizing spontaneously which are recurring so frequently that full consciousness is not restored. What is your clinical diagnosis? Simple partial seizure, myoclonic seizure, absence seizure, status epilepticus, complex partial seizure. Answer should be status epilepticus. Time more than 30 minutes, no cessation, okay, and it is life threatening condition. Number four, all of the following drugs are effective in status epilepticus except one. The exception is what? Phosphenitoin, phenobarbital, diazepam, lorazepam, ethosuximide. Okay, what is the exception here? Answer should be the ethosuximide. Number four, answer is ethosuximide. That is it. That is for the exception. All other useful, all of them. This is the exception, that is the answer. Question number five, which of the following is the most dramatic form of epilepsy? Characterized by loss of consciousness, followed by continuous contraction and then repeat contraction and relaxation phase, and subsequently a period of confusion and exhaustion. So, what is the epilepsy here? Tonic clonic, grand mal, absence, petit mal, C, myoclonic. D. Complex partial, E. Febrile seizure. Answer should be what? A. 5. Answer is a tonic clonic or grand mal seizure. Question number 6. All of the following are effective preferred or alternative drugs for tonic 
clonic epilepsy except one the exception is what question number six phenytoin caromazepine phenobarbital primidone ethosuximide answer should be number six answer is e eagle e for eagle ethosuximide all of them are useful in tonic clonic epilepsy question number six question number seven valproic acid is a broad spectrum anti-convulsant and is the most effective drug for the treatment of what type of epilepsy simple partial complex partial myoclonic status epilepticus answer should be what answer should be myoclonic c number seven answer is c number eight which of the following anti-epileptic drugs is approved for adjunctive therapy of refractory partial seizure remarkably free of pharmacokinetic drug interactions which makes it a good choice for adjunctive therapy and what is the answer jonisamide levitiracetam tiagabin topiramet lomotrigin what is the answer for question number eight answer should be here levi tiracetam question number eight levi tiracetam okay because it excreted very freely okay without changing so that is a good choice the levi tiracetam Number nine, which of the following anti-epileptic drugs is highly effective for partial seizure, complex and simple, and tonic-clonic seizure, and is also used to treat trigeminal neuralgia and bipolar disorder. What is the answer? Valproic acid, ethosuximide, diazepam, clonazepam, carbamazepine. What is the answer? Answer should be carbamazepine. Question number nine. Answer is E. That is the answer. Question number ten. Adverse effects of which of the following anti-epileptic drugs include gingival hyperplasia, coarsening of facial features, megaloblastic anemia and decrease secretion of adh and insulin so there will be hyperglycemia there will be light imbalance megaloblastic anemia due to vitamin b12 deficiency so what is the drug that causing this problem primidone valproic acid phenytoin phenobarbital carbamazepine what is the answer of 10 10 here gingival hyperplasia coarsening of, face, coarsening of facial feature megaloplastic anemia decreased secretion of adh and insulin answer should be c the phenytoin okay number 10 answer is c phenytoin this is the answer number 10 Number 11, adverse effects of which of the following anti-epileptic drugs include stupor, coma, respiratory depression. This happened due to chronic use, ataxia, blurred vision, blood dyscrasias, including leukopenia, decreased number of white blood cells, aplastic anemia, as well as this of bone marrow suppression, 
as well as liver toxicity okay so what is that drug phenytoin phenobarbital oxcarbazepin carbamazepin levetiracetam what is the answer okay so we are getting blood dyskepsia respiratory depression liver toxicity these fit here the carbamazepin number 11 that will cause this problem okay let's go to the next question or last question question number 12 which the following is an effective drug for febrile seizure in children if necessary nowadays we don't give any prophylaxis for febrile seizures so what is done here to manage this patient with febrile seizure the, the child so what are the possible effective drug phenytoin carbamazepine diazepam ethosuxamide valproic acid okay what is the drug of choice? Choice febrile seizure. We should not be frightened by febrile seizure. It does not cause brain damage. So it will go if the temperature goes down of the child. So which of the following is an effective drug for febrile seizure? Diazepam may be used if necessary. Febrile convulsion is not a huge problem it is not it will not cause brain damage so safe drug is the diazepam okay and that's all about the mcqs on anti-epileptic drug if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please Subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.